Expect him to average more than 30. Yep. Off the hip there from Matty Hayden, and he's timed that magnificently. Almost got into the fence. In fact, the fieldsman's gone into the fence, and he's hit it hard. And that is an edge, but it goes through safely. Around about a fourth slip position. And that just gets to the boundary. So four runs to Matthew Hayden. He was quick to look around then. And that's quick. He really is steaming in. Yeah, I think this might be his last over too. I think they might give him a bit of a break before lunch and may, may well see Mushtaq come on and have a couple of overs. But he's really going to steam in. Let's just have a look, not only his run up here, as to... Whoop. <laughs> Just having a bit of a, a giggle there. Pulling a few faces out, the tongue's out of the mouth. And let's have a look, see where he lands. Well, he's landing just outside, well, from that angle, looks as though he's landing just outside off stump, right in the middle of the wicket. He gets off the crease, off the wicket pretty quickly, but, well, he's enjoying himself. Just wide the crease and pulls that one away into position quickly. And that crashes into the square leg boundary. Beautiful shot. Well, he's strong all around the wicket, Matthew, but that was pretty short. And he was probably thinking about it as well because he's been banging him into Matthew. And it was right in the slot for him, just rocked back onto the back foot, pulled it just forward a square. Didn't even have to move, obviously. An extra field's now a deep backward square leg. And a short one. Oh, beautiful delivery. That was vicious. How'd you like that one, he says. Oh, that is a magnificent delivery again and hit him right flush on the helmet. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Boy, he's... really do you see a batsman hit like this, Ray? Well, he's copped a couple now. It hit him right in the shoulder, but it did sound as though it hit him in the side of the head, didn't it? Mm -hmm. He just... We had no option. He just beaten for pace there. I think it did end up hitting him going from the shoulder onto the visor, onto the guard. But the pace that's being generated... He had sort of no option. It's coming at him. It's not as if he's sliding across him. He's coming straight at him, isn't he, Keith? But he's the skipper, knows exactly what he's doing. No ball. And Matthew Hayden appreciating the slower delivery and the call, the early call there, and punishes it for four. Yeah, well, the double whammy there. No ball, and he hammered that for four. Well, there's some runs here for him. In fact, he's going to get back for a pretty comfortable three in the end. Shohei Bakhtar needing to do some fancy footwork down there on the square leg fence. Oh, and there it is. The wrong one. I don't think Matty had any idea about that one. No chance of an edge here. Look how much he misses this one, Bart. He's uh, allowing for it to come in, protecting the wickets. Did all the right things when uh, you don't read it. First priority is to get everything in front of the stumps. If it spins the other way, you might look stupid, but you don't get out. Down the wicket, trying to get it on the full, which is also good batting. Just dropped on him, inside edge down to fine leg. A couple of runs added onto the tally there. Smiles all round. Let's give the bowler a lot of confidence when he can run up and bowl and uh, the batsman, he knows the batsman can't read it. Matthew Hayden there looking to get it on the full, almost got there. So it was two runs, but not a confident two runs and that's why Mushy must be a little bit confident, yeah? He's not sure which way it's going. That's a bad ball. Short and wide and put away. Well, he's let his man off the hook here. Trying too much. Just concentrate on keeping him bottled up, not giving him any room to swing the arms. Yeah, you just see too short, too wide. And a man of Matthew Hayden's class is not going to miss uh, out on those. He's picked the spot and hit it between the fielders. And strength. Such a big, strong guy. Muscled that through. He knows he's on 44, not out. He's taken 103 balls to get there. A lot of concentration. Time spent in the middle. And that has been struck right out of the middle, and that's into the hospitality tents for six.
Well, that's the 50 for Matthew Hayden. And what a way to bring it up. It's gone many, many a mile. 12,000 first class runs now for Matthew Hayden. And what a way to bring it up. Whack. And the sweep shot. Four runs. A few words to Mushy there. Smiles around for Matthew Hayden. But I still don't think Keith is picking them. But he's, if you get right down, sweep properly. Hit down over the top of it. Doesn't matter which way it spins. And he just went with that little bit of movement. Punched it through the covers. And Shohab doing a lot of work out there. He throws himself around in the field. And here's another chase for the quick. He really charges after this one. Surely he won't slide. It's going to pull up just in front of the boundary. A little bit slippery out there. Has a bit of trouble retrieving the ball. Stuart Law. Down to third man. The thickish edge. Four runs. In the marmal huck. Down the wicket. A good shot. Leaning on that. Matthew Hayden running hard. Didn't quite pick it, but punishes it off the back foot. And really, he wasn't going to run for that. He thought he hit it so well, but this lush outfield pulling it up. And in fact, they only get two runs. But off the bat, short and pulls it away. Four runs. Beautiful shot right over the top of it. It's a little bit different. This over to what we saw from Shoah back to earlier on this afternoon when he's a little bit quicker than this. Oh, this is a wonderful shot. Matty Hayden wants to make a statement to Shoah back to. And down he goes again, Matthew Hayden. You don't have to worry about this one. That's the three ways he's playing him. He's either playing him off the back foot, he's trying to sweep, or he's going down the track. And Mushy's having a little bit of difficulty coping with it. He's tried to counteract it by going around the wicket. And there he goes. Threw that one up a little bit, Mushtag. Just gave Matty Hayden the opportunity to pick out his spot. Every time he throws it up, he takes up the challenge. Hayden, he either runs down the wicket or he whacks it over the top. And there he goes on the sweep. And he's hit it in front of square and he's clubbed it away for four. So they're intent on taking the attack up to the Pakistanis. And why wouldn't you? They know that they've got the advantage if they can get the ball over the outfield. It's not going to swing anymore because of the moisture. And it's unlikely that it'll turn much. Although that one, there was a little bit of turn into Matthew Hayden. You've got to use the towel wherever possible. As a Mahmood round the wicket. And there it is. That's, it. That's got to be it. Oh, well played, Matthew. 100 for Matthew Hayden and his teammates all stand and applaud. He's delighted. He's worked very, very hard for that. Brings it up with his 12th four. Matthew Hayden brings up his century. Fantastic hundred for Matthew Hayden. That's his 39th first class hundred. And the response to that from Matthew Hayden is the lofted drive over Midoff's head for four. A pull shot, and that is a lovely shot. Four runs. Welcome to the crease. Straight down the ground. And runs away to the boundary. So this is the birthday party. Matthew Hayden had to sit back in the first and he's being run out. He's making sure he gets a big one here. That is a very good shot. In fact, it was defeated slightly by the pace. It wasn't uh, as quick as he thought it was going to be, but he's in such control he was able to just hit it over mid-off. No danger. And that could be close. And it is. He considers it umpire Zimmer and gives Matthew Hayden out. And another one that's not happy with the LP. <laughs> he's absolutely livid, Matthew Hayden. He just hung around for a long time. Shahab Akhtar is pleased.
I'm not sure about this one. It was a real loosener for Matthew Hayden. Matthew Infected, Hayden, it did him for pace. And he is not a happy man at the moment. He reckons that might have been going down leg side. He got caught a bit on the crease. My initial feeling was it was going down leg side. It was very much a loosener from Akhtar. And I think Matthew Hayden feels a little aggrieved because the appeal might have got the wicket. It was a, almost a imploring of the umpire to give him out. You see this one pitching on. And did it move? It's moved enough. And I think that would have been just going down the leg side. We'll check the height from the side. Of course, we have the benefit of the replays. And here we go. Well, pretty much on the crease. It might have been okay for height. Might have just been going on. Did this pitch outside leg? Very marginal. Yes, I think the thing that saved, uh, well, Matthew probably thought that it pitched outside leg stump, but it seemed to go just a little off the seam and straightened up. And, oh, a bit cheeky there.